we invented computers because we realized we're quite rubbish at solving a lot of problems. But the problem that we have now is that the computers that we have built turns out to be not that good at solving a lot of the problems that we have found. Problems like simulating the weather, for example, or searching through really large databases. And if our computers won't do the job, we'll need something else that will. And this is why we invented something called quantum computers. Now, classical computers does calculations in terms of ones and zeros, or what we call bits. But quantum computers are different, because rather than using these bits to calculate, they use something else called quantum bits, or qubits as we call them. And rather than these qubits existing as ones and zeros, they instead only exist as a probability between these different states. You can think of it a bit like a coin, where all you know at any one time is just the probability of it landing on one side or on the other. But only when you actually take your coin and you flip your coin will it actually become one of those states. And if you want to do any calculations with these qubits, you need to adjust the probabilities so that the more favorable outcome is more likely to happen. But how is dealing with the probabilities of qubits going to help solve problems any more efficiently? Well, let's look at a particular problem that we might have. Let's say the, um, problems like, let's say we have a deck of cards. And we want to find where a smiley face card is, but it's somewhere in your deck. How are you going to do that using any, any quicker? Well, classically, what you have to do is you have to go through every single card one by one until you find the correct answer. But that takes way too long. We can use quantum computers, and we can exploit probability and quantum mechanics to do the problem a lot faster. What we want, let's say we have a deck of cards initially, what we technically want is we want to make sure that if we were to pick a card at random, we're more likely to get the correct card that we want, the smiley face card. If I were to pick now, then it will be equally likely to get any of the cards, right? So what I can do is I can run this problem through some quantum algorithm and maybe run it again just to be really sure, so that when you actually pick one of the cards out of your deck, you're actually really likely to get the correct card that you want. And you know that this is going to be a lot quicker as well, because rather than having to go through all of the cases one by one, you're actually dealing with all of the problems that you have all at once. And that's what makes quantum computers a lot quicker, because, ra because rather than having to deal with more exact things, you can just deal with the probabilities and do everything all at once. And while quantum computers are still pretty much in their infant years, it still remains a really great prospect for the future of science. And only time will tell us where it takes us. Thank you.